Hey everyone, and welcome to the NOSR Webs podcast. Mm. We're diving deep into Bitcoin today. Buckle up. You got it. We've got this article. Yeah. That says if you invested like a hundred bucks mm -hmm. in Bitcoin back in 2013, okay, it would be worth over seven hundred thousand dollars today. Wow. Oh, and don't forget to visit the links in the description below for some seriously amazing offers. Right. So let's rewind back to 2013. Okay. Can you paint us a picture? Yeah. Of what the crypto landscape looked like back then? Yeah. So Bitcoin was kind of like this mm -hmm. digital mystery. Most mm -hmm. people thought it was just a fad. Right. <laughs> and it wasn't really talked about that much. Okay. At the beginning of 2013, Bitcoin was only $13.50. Okay, so we're talking about going from $13.50 to potentially over $700,000 in just over a decade. Yeah. My brain can't even comprehend that. It's a big jump. Could you break it down for me? Ah. How did that $100 investment turn into that much money? Okay, so imagine in 2013 you took a $100 bill. You swapped it for 7.41 Bitcoins. Yeah. That's what the exchange rate was. Gotcha. Now fast forward to 2024 and Bitcoin hits this peak of yeah. about $98,000. Wow. Do a little math and boom, okay. you're looking at $726,380. It's crazy. It's like the magic of exponential growth. Exponential growth is one of those terms that like gets thrown around a lot. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, yeah. it sounds a little bit like rocket science. Yeah. Is there a way we can understand it without needing a PhD? Yeah, think about like folding a piece of paper in half. Okay. And every time you fold it, mm -hmm. the thickness doubles, right? Yeah. So now imagine you fold that piece of paper 50 times. Right. It's that same mind-boggling effect Ooh, okay. that we see with Bitcoin over time. I'm starting to get it. It's like watching a snowball roll down a hill and just become massive. Yeah, exactly. So what were like the key factors okay. that made the price skyrocket? Well, the article points to a few things. Okay. First off, just good old-fashioned market demand. Okay. So as more people were like, hey, this Bitcoin thing has potential, mm -hmm. they jumped on board and the price went up. Okay. Then there's the scarcity factor. Okay. So Bitcoin has a limited supply. Okay. Only 21 million will ever exist. Gotcha. That scarcity creates this kind of like digital gold rush effect. Okay. The more people want it. Yeah. The faster the price goes up. So it's kind of like a limited edition thing. Exactly. But digital, yeah. we can't forget about those big institutional investors like hedge funds mm -hmm. that jumped in. Yeah. When they started putting money into Bitcoin, yeah. it made the market seem more legitimate Okay. and stable. Gotcha. And that brought in even more investors. It's not just tech savvy people anymore. Yeah, it's the big leagues. Now, did regulations play a part in this? Bitcoin roller coaster ride? Absolutely. Okay. As regulations evolved yeah. and became more favorable, like with Bitcoin ETFs, yeah. more people felt comfortable right. putting their money in. It's like someone finally put up some guardrails yeah. on this wild ride. Exactly. Speaking of wild rides, can you explain this mysterious halving event? Ah, uh, yes, the halving. What's all the hype about? So it's like this big event in the Bitcoin world that happens every four years. Okay. And essentially, yeah. the reward for mining new Bitcoin gets cut in half. Okay. It's kind of like a controlled release valve for Bitcoin. Gotcha. To prevent inflation. Okay. And keep things in check. Mining inflation. Yeah. Can you break that down for me? Okay, so think of mining as this global treasure hunt. Okay. Where tech-savvy people yeah. use powerful computers to solve these complex math problems. Okay. They're like digital prospectors. Gotcha. And for their efforts, yeah. they get rewarded with new Bitcoins. Okay. So this having event slows down the rate okay. at which new Bitcoins enter circulation. So less Bitcoin coming in. Right. More demand. Yeah, exactly. Price goes up. You got it. It's all starting to make sense now. Yeah. Good. Let's talk about the future. Okay. Where could this Bitcoin roller coaster be headed? Well, predicting the future of Bitcoin yeah. is like predicting the weather. Right. It's unpredictable. That's fair. But yeah. we can look at some potential scenarios. Okay, hit me. Okay, so continued growth. Okay. Maybe hitting 150,000. Yeah. Or even 200,000 in the next few years. What about market corrections? You're right. Bitcoin is famous for its price swings. Yeah. So alongside that growth, we need to acknowledge yeah. the possibility of corrections. Okay. Prices could drop. Right. At least for a bit. Yeah, it makes sense. It's the nature of the beast. So we've got growth, we've got corrections, anything else we should think about? 
Well, one more crucial factor is the regulatory landscape. Okay. Future regulations could either help Bitcoin or hurt it. Right. Depending on how they're implemented. Makes sense. Governments are still figuring out what to do with this new asset class. So we've covered a lot here yeah. from Bitcoin's beginnings <laughs> to his meteoric rise. Right. Before we wrap up this part of our deep dive, yeah. why should people care about Bitcoin's journey even if they're not planning to invest? I think Bitcoin's story yeah. is about way more than just making money. Okay. It reflects these bigger trends in technology, mm -hmm. finance, yeah. and potentially how we'll exchange value in the future. It's like a sneak peek into a future where digital currencies yeah. are a big part of our lives. Exactly. Maybe we'll be buying coffee with Bitcoin one day. It's possible. Whether Bitcoin succeeds in the long term or not, mm -hmm. It's already started a revolution. It really has. It's making us rethink traditional financial systems. Yeah. And explore new possibilities. That's something worth paying attention to. I agree. No matter your financial interests. We'll be back after a quick break to continue exploring this journey of Bitcoin. Stay tuned. And don't forget to check out those links in the description below for amazing offers. See you soon. Mm, okay. All right. Welcome back to the NOSR Webs podcast. We're back. Before the break, we were talking about Bitcoin's journey. Yeah. From like a nobody to a global star. It's been wild. It has. And we were thinking about all those potential scenarios, mm -hmm. continued growth market corrections, and those looming regulations. It's a lot to think about. It makes my head spin a little. I know. And that uncertainty is what makes Bitcoin so exciting. And for some, yeah. maybe a little scary. Let's talk about that volatility. Okay. It's not exactly known for being stable, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> those price swings can feel like a roller coaster. So for those brave souls mm -hmm. thinking about getting into crypto, yeah. what advice do you have? Well, the first rule of crypto is okay. do your research. Don't just jump in because everyone else is. Exactly. Take your time. Okay. Understand what Bitcoin is, mm. how it works, yeah. and the risks involved. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. No, it's not. So don't put all your savings into Bitcoin and expect to buy an island next year. Haha, <laughs> probably not the best idea. What about diversification? That's another crucial thing. Yep. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Especially with something as volatile as crypto. Right. Spread the risk a little. Okay, so spread the risk. Explore different options. Mm. Don't go all in on just Bitcoin. Exactly. It's about managing that risk. Got it. And making smart choices. Okay. Based on, you know, your own situation. So let's zoom out for a second. Okay. Do you think Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are changing the way we think about money and finance it's definitely possible like are we seeing a paradigm shift here bitcoin has definitely shaken things up for sure it's introduced this whole idea of decentralized digital currencies right that operate outside of like yeah governments and banks so it's not just about getting rich quick it's potentially changing the whole financial system right it's a big idea it's resonating with a lot of people it is. Especially those who aren't big fans of traditional financial institutions. Exactly. It's a David and Goliath story. Mm -hmm. For the digital age. A digital revolution in finance. And it's happening so fast. I know. Think about all the advancements yeah. in blockchain technology. It's amazing. It's evolving so quickly. It's hard to know what's next. I agree. It's exhilarating and a little terrifying. I know. Right? Like we're on the edge of something huge. Yeah, something that could change the world. And that's why this conversation about Bitcoin is so fascinating. Mm -hmm. It's not just about numbers and investments. It's about the future yeah. where technology could empower people right. and change how we think about money and value. Okay, so before we go any further, don't forget to check out those awesome offers in the links below. Yeah. It's your chance to really get into the world of Bitcoin. We'll be back after a short break. Yeah. To continue exploring Bitcoin's past, present, and future. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the NOSR Webs podcast, everyone. We're wrapping up our deep dive into Bitcoin. It's been a wild ride. It really has. Full of twists and turns and lots of aha moments. We've gone from its humble beginnings yeah. to its potential to revolutionize finance. It feels like we're just scratching the surface. I think so. Who knows what the future holds? The possibilities seem endless. Maybe flying cars powered by Bitcoin. Aha! That's a good one. So before we let our listeners go, yeah. let's leave them with something to think about. Uh. What's one question they should ponder? Hmm. That's a good question. As they keep exploring the world of Bitcoin and crypto. Well, I think it's important to consider yeah. what happens if cryptocurrency really takes off? 
Ew. Like, imagine a world where Bitcoin and other digital currencies become the norm. Yeah. How would that change our relationship with money? That's a big question. With governments. Right. With each other. Wow, those are some really big questions. It's like we're on the verge of a massive shift. Like a whole new way of thinking about our financial systems. Exactly. And it's not just about the technology itself. Right. It's about the social and economic changes that might happen. Would it make things more equal? Or would it create new inequalities? It's hard to say. Would it empower people or give more power to big tech companies? These are all things we need to think about. It's exciting, but also a little scary. I agree. It's like we're standing at the edge of a huge, unknown digital world. These are the conversations we need to have. Yeah. We need to talk about the good and the bad. We need to be prepared for what might come. Exactly. The more we know about Bitcoin blockchain technology and this new world of finance, mm -hmm. the better we can shape our future. Knowledge is power. So to our listeners out there. Yeah. Keep learning. Keep exploring. Keep those minds open. And don't be afraid to ask the tough questions. Maybe you'll even become part of this digital revolution. It's happening right now. And before we sign off, yes, don't forget to check out those amazing offers in the links below. They're your ticket to the world of Bitcoin. Visit the links in the description below for amazing offers. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into Bitcoin. Until next time.